Hello guys and welcome to another episode of our Arsenal career mode. Apologies, it's been a few days since my last upload. It's been a bit bit hectic at the moment. I've been away um, and it's almost Christmas. It's Christmas, I think, next week or so. So yeah, very exciting. Happy holidays. Uh, but we're getting straight into the uh, episode today. And we've got some fun matches. Quickly recapping last episode, we lost to Man City. It was a tough game. It was a tough game. Man City was just better than us on the day. Uh, then we managed to beat uh, Leeds. And then we beat Newcastle in the Cup. And we actually have Newcastle to kick off with today. So hopefully we can replicate that performance. I know we went for two cams. We played a few random players like a Dorami, like Kulisevsky, uh, Brewster even. Even the big boy Brewster himself. Um, so Newcastle should be... An, an interesting test, an interesting test. Uh, then two days after that, we have Nottingham Forest. Two days after that, we have Liverpool. Uh, and I think it's important to look ahead for the transfer window as well. I think in my mind, I know what I'm going to do. Um, but again, let me know as soon as possible if you have any suggestions for that. We've still got quite a big transfer budget. We still have around 100,000. 100,000? No, 100 mil. Um, we still have 107 million to spend we probably won't spend all of it but just to show you what i'm thinking i think i'm gonna go for a goalkeeper and a winger this transfer window uh and i know you could say i've got a lot of wingers i've got who can play on the right saka kulisevsky pepe can uh, on the left martinelli Durami. We've, we've got a lot we've got a lot of wingers but i still feel like we're missing something and i know squad depth wise we're, we're looking all right we're looking all right our bench is usually quite stacked but I just think one more player, one more player in there. Um, but goalkeeper-wise, let me just quickly go into goalkeeper-wise before the winger. Um, I think I'm going to go for this bad boy. I, I was very, very torn between these two. Van der Voort, obviously, a youngster. We need someone who's already good. Ramsdale is going to be the one who's going to grow behind the scenes. Um, and I think I'm going to go for what I'm going to call him is Mike. I'm going to go for Mike. Uh, Mike from AC Milan, 86 rated. Uh, and he's 27, so he's still got a lot of years in him. Chesney, who I thought, oh, you know what, it'll be fun to bring him back. He's a solid keeper, 87 rated. He is 32, so he's five years older than uh, Mike down here. Um, and I just think it's a smarter option to go for him. Um, so I'm, I will probably go for, for Mike from AC Milan. <laughs> um, and then in terms of uh, wingers, we looked at Dembele last time. Dembele, for me... Has, we have to go for him. We have to go for him. 61.5 mil is his valuation. That could go up to 104 million, which again, we can afford. We can afford that, but I'm hoping we can get him at a deal of like maybe 75 mil. I think that'll be a bargain. His value will only go up. So again, another another big move i've also had a quick look at some of the free agents on the market i couldn't find like crazy players but there was this martin who kind of stood out for me 91 or up to 91 technical ability um he could be an interesting little player if we if we can get him at least scouted uh, and a couple center mids as well just in case because you never know this um speedy dribbler or technical dribbler francois um, yeah, there's a, there's a couple couple interesting options. It's quite tough with free agents to know whether they're going to be good enough. So we're going to get these guys scoured and see kind of what their ratings are saying, what their development's saying. Um, but yeah, just throwing them into the mix just for fun. Now looking ahead to the Newcastle game, let's have a quick look at the table before we kick off on this journey today because we've got a few fun games lined up. Uh, and Newcastle would sit in 10th very mid table unlike real life where they are struggling at the bottom uh, looking at the bottom of the table West Ham are fighting relegation Palace Burnley Sheffield United very interesting um, but Newcastle don't seem to be doing too badly they have won seven drawn six lost five I mean a very boring very boring uh, form uh, so fingers crossed we can replicate the cup win. We're gonna go for uh, two cams like we did last time. Okay guys and team wise I think this is what I'm gonna go for. I've changed up a few little things. One being Gwendouzi and Salaba in the mix. Um, I've also got Pepe, Ochim and Saka up front. So Martinelli's gonna chill on the bench. Kulisevsky's gonna chill on the bench. 
obviously got Aubameyang. In real life, that's a bit of a sticky, delicate situation. We don't know what's really going on there. Um, but we'll keep Aubameyang on the bench for the sake of this. Thomas Partey on the bench with Gravenbeck and Smith Rowe, as well as Tommy Asu. Again, a really nice bench. Like I could be starting all of these players and still do brilliantly, um, which is, is is brilliant for us. It's, it's a great situation for us. Um, I do think possibly we we will have to sell a few players on. So I think the January window will be at least getting a few loans out, possibly selling a few of these players because we've got way too many players. Like going down this list, it's unbelievable, boys. So many players, so little time. Um, so yeah, but I'm happy with this team. Odegaard and Shabozla in there can do the business. Uh, and yeah, I think Guendouzi will be fine at a CDM role. And here he is, the big boy, Victor Oshiman. 18 goals, man. He's on fire. He is on fire, and I'm expecting more from him. Brewster got a brace against Newcastle last time out. If Oshiman doesn't get a brace, then I guess Bruce is our best striker. Nice, Gwinduzi already getting a tackle in. Just a minute in. And here we go. First attack of the game. It's Shabozlai on the ball. Shabozlai is still on the ball to Oshiman. And it's been saved. Oshiman actually did pick up a knock just there. It's a bad tackle from camera. Right, let's take this short. It's uh, Reese James on the ball. Going to whip a ball across. Woo! Cher just has to tip that over. Damn, we are we're finding a few chances in the opening part of this game. Gonna try the same again. Reese James across to Gabriel, and that was a surefire goal. Washman can head it down to Saka, who can run it out. Okay, boys, and can we counter-attack from this? That is the big question. It's Nicolas Pepe. Pepe loves running at players. Look at him go. I'm seeing this ball to Oshiman in the middle. Oshiman with one touch and Oshiman with a goal. What a counter-attack. As soon as Oshiman got the ball there, I knew he'd be able to cut inside. And that was a lovely, lovely bit of play from their corner as well. We've had some brilliant, brilliant attacks at the start of this game. So I'm glad we've managed to scrape a goal. And it's a really nice finish from Oshiman. There we go. 19 goals in 19 games. Victor Oshiman. Trying to prove to me that he's better than Brewster. One more to go. We are playing the richest club in the world. And they may score from this. It's Vlahovic. My God. Oshman would have scored that. Let's play. I'm going to whip a ball in with Saka. To Oshman. Oh my God. <laughs> How many times do we hit the boat post, man? And it's Pepe. Oh, I had to go for it. Wow. Wow. How are we not more than 1 0 up right now? How are we not more than 1 0 up? And it's Shabazz Lai! It's a stinker from, I think, Dubravka in goal. Oh my god, man! What is. I've not had this happen in so long, but what is Dubravka doing there? Shabazz is not getting an easier goal. I was a bit caught out. I, I'm glad I shot. What on earth? That is bizarre. That, but I like that there's them goals in it because that happens in real life. Every, I don't know, every couple months a keeper does something stupid like that. And wow, we capitalised on it. 2-0. Oh my god. What the fuck? And Grinduzi again, man. Oh, this could, this could get gross for Newcastle. Odegaard to Shabozlai. Shabozlai with another shot. It's 3-0. I haven't even stopped. I haven't even stopped. It's 3-0. <laughs> Newcastle are getting destroyed on these attacks, man. I'm telling you, two cams destroys teams like this. Oh my god. Shabozai with a brace. And how impressive is that? It's a lovely finish as well. Dubravka having a nightmare. The whole Newcastle team having a nightmare, it seems. We have to capitalise on this. Not give them anything. And again, okay, Odegaard's picked up a knock, but... Mate... That's just because Newcastle are having to play dirty right now because we are absolutely destroying them. And again, they're looking so open, man. I'm playing the ball to Odegaard. Back to Shabozlai. Ah, oh, I tried to play to Oshiman, but boys, this this is a crazy game so far. And I'm I'm not I've not stopped talking. I've not stopped talking because it's a constant attack. And there's Victor Oshiman on the ball here. He's playing it through to Saka. Saka with the goal! <laughs> what the fuck? 4-0 before half time. 
Saka, did you see how much space Saka had in the middle there? He was onside as well. Look how much space he has. Oshman does really well to get that out of his feet as well, but... My god, man. This is incredible. It's absolutely incredible. Brilliant performance so far. This is probably one of our best first half displays I've seen in a long time. Okay, now it's a Newcastle attack. Can they get a goal back in this? They desperately, desperately need one. And, okay. Well defended. And that should be half time. It is half time. We, we probably could have counter attacked from that. Half time, 4 0. What a beginning of the game. Dubravka fucked it. And they just capitulated. Three quick fire goals to make it 4 0. My god, man. Ooh, okay, it's a Newcastle attack here. First attack of the second half. Ramsdale can only punch it clear. And Tierney can get it out to Saka. Okay, boys, can we do another little little counter counter attack thing? Odegaard plays it down to Reese James, to Pepe. Pepe to Oshiman. Okay, this is nice, this is nice. Lovely bits of play. Playing it back to Shabozlai. I'm playing it to Saka. Is Saka on side? Oh, if that, mate, if that went in, that would have been one of the best team goals I've scored. Good from Dubravka for once in this game. Okay, it's another Newcastle attack here. They're really trying to get back into this game. Almiron playing it back to Maddy. And it's Vlahovic and Gabriel. Easy as you like it. And again, Newcastle have to be careful because they are trying to commit players forward to get back in this game. That just leaves them more open at the back. And it's now Pepe on the ball. Pepe, I'm going to try and find Oshiman. Oshiman with the fifth goal. Wow. There we go. That's the fifth. I was waiting to see if we'd managed to get another chance. Because Newcastle have been pressuring us. Um, our defence has kept him out. And there's another goal for Oshiman. He's got a brace in this game. The same as Brewster in the last one. So, I guess I can't drop Oshiman for Brewster. Um, but it's a, it's a lovely bit of play from Pepe there as well. Held the ball up well. Passed it across. And there's the fifth goal, boys. Much needed. Okay, and I've just taken a few players. I've brought Aubameyang on. Kulisevsky on. As well as Gravenbeck. Um, just to freshen legs up and keep a few players fit. Oshman was getting a bit knackered, actually. I think he's just been running up and down the entire game. But it's a perfect chance for Aubameyang with fresh legs. And he's through with his first touch. It's an Aubameyang goal. <laughs> it's an Aubameyang goal, man. You bring on fresh legs up front against a tired already Newcastle defence. They have like five defenders on as well. And that's what you get, man. Just one through ball. Destroyed them. And it's an easy finish from Aubameyang. He's not missing it. Oh, man. This is a getting embarrassing for Newcastle now. Of course, like Guendouzi's had a cracker of a game as well. He's just kept everything so calm in midfield. Uh, and it's a Bamiang now playing it to Shabozlai. And, oh, Shah actually does well. And again, their, their clearances are not convincing at all. I just feel like I can pressure them and then they'll give the ball away. Uh, it's another Newcastle attack here. Joe Willock on the ball. Can Joe Willock create anything against us? Oh, he went for the shot, and it was a good Ramsdale save in the end. Okay, can we have one more attack in this game? It's Saka. I'm playing the ball out to Kulisevsky. It's Kulisevsky with the shot, and Dubravka with the save. Thought we could have done better there. I should have... Maybe I should have went for a finesse shot. But it's Saka now. Saka whips the ball across, and Dubravka can take that. That might be full time in this game, but what a game it has been. What a bloody game it has been. And Joe Willock dispossessed by Tierney. There we go. Full time whistle. We might have actually got another goal there. Um, but that's fair enough. 6 0. We will take that. Now, that has to be one of our more convincing performances. Uh, we actually had less possession. I think in the second half, Newcastle got it back a little bit. And it's Shabozla who gets the man of the match. And I'm not surprised. Two goals and an assist. Oshman, two goals and an assist. Saka with a goal. Pepe, two assists. Honestly, brilliant stuff. Brilliant stuff. Guendouzi having a really nice game as well. No goals or assists, but having a 7.9 really does show something. And yeah, Shabozlai, unbelievable. Him getting that second goal just made, made Newcastle crumble. Like, capitalising on that error was a very, very big part of the game. And I haven't really done this before, but let's look at their worst player. Their worst player was Shah. 
uh, who, yeah, had a bit of a stinker. I'm surprised Dubravka's down there. I think he made a couple saves at the end that probably saved his score a bit. Poor, poor game for Newcastle. Okay, and next up we have Nottingham Forest, who are in 17th place. Again, actually doing far worse than Newcastle currently. So possibly I go for a similar formation. What kind of formation are they looking like they're going to line up with? Okay, it's a bit more of a, of a widespread uh, team as opposed to Newcastle. But I still think, I don't know, something about the double cam could be good against this team. It seems like we might need to break down their defence and back line quite a bit. So... I think we go for this one. And Shabozlai had a cracking game last time out, but I'm actually going to bring in Smith Rowe for this one. We've got Liverpool in two days' time, so I've got that in mind. Uh, we're also going to start Oshiman up front, of course. But Abame on the bench, done wonders, so I'm, I'm very happy we have him. Uh, I'm also going to start Martinelli for this one, give Saka a little bit of a break. I'm going to keep Pepe in the side on the right. And in terms of back line, I'm changing it up a little bit. I'm starting Tommy Asu and Ben White in there. Uh, I'm going to leave Gwendouzi in. I'm going to hopefully get his sharpness up ahead of the Liverpool game and possibly start him and Thomas Partey together in kind of a little pivot. Um, yeah, we're going to see. Maybe, maybe I'll start a grab and bake in that game, do a weird warp formation or something. But we'll, we'll discuss that after this next game. Uh, Pepe on the right, Martinelli on the left, Oshim in the middle seems good. Um, and yeah, I think I'm happy with this. Gabriel keeping his place. Our bench is looking lovely. I think it's time, boys. I think it's time to hopefully hurt Nottingham Forest. Apologies, Nottingham Forest fans. I do like the club, but I, I want a win here. Okay, and here we go, Nottingham Forest. I think Is this our first game against them? I think it is, um, unless I'm being stupid. 4-1. We are away from home, another away game, but I mean, it didn't matter last time out. Haven't heard of any of these players, I can't lie, um, but I've heard of our players, so that's that's all that counts, surely. I don't know who to look out for, but again, same as always, we'll, we'll, we'll suss the situation out, see who's playing well for them. I'm going to try and control this game as much as possible, possibly a bit more than a Newcastle game, but I still want to go as hard as possible against them. And fingers crossed we can get the dub. And already this is um, a nice bit of play. And it's Smith Rowe. Oh, I tried to play the ball to Martinelli. No dice. No dice. But a nice nice little start from the boys. Damn, look. 19 matches played. 50 goals in that time. Unbelievable scenes. It's Tierney now to Smith Rowe. We're going to be wanting to get on the score sheet as quick as possible here. And it's Pepe. Playing it to Smith Rowe. Smith Rowe with the goal. And there we go. Already on the score sheet. It's Emil Smith Rowe with the goal. And you can't say much more about it. It was a really nice attack. Really, really nice attack. And yeah, that's brilliant. That is absolutely brilliant. Pepe does really well there. Oh, attack does really well there. That's just where having two cameras on overloads defences. And big example of that right there. I've got to say, I don't want to jinx this episode, but we've got Liverpool next. Can we do the same against Liverpool? We have looked dominant so far. Don't want to jinx it, though, because, new, I don't know, Nottingham Forest can still do something in this. We've seen it plenty of times. We've struggled against some of these lower teams. Uh, they do pop up with the odd goal, so I really wouldn't be surprised if they do grab one. Um, whether it's, it's classic FIFA scripting or not... Um, but we'll try our best to keep him out. But this is a nice bit of play here from a... It's not a Forest player, but Ben White gets in the way. Okay, Gabriel Martinelli can run with it here. He loves, loves this wing. I'm going to try and pass it to Oshiman. I have passed it to Oshiman. It's an Oshiman goal. It's so easy. It's too easy, this game, man. I do have to... Pr I, I have to say again. I'm playing on all my difficult... I'm playing on like the hardest it can be right now. And this team is just gelling. It's working so well. I think this formation against these lower teams just does wonders. And that's a lovely, lovely finish for Mosherman. It's another goal for him. And I think it's, it's possibly that we're against worse teams today. Um, we do have Liverpool next up, so that'll be more of a test. But, man, you can't fault these two games so far. So far, we've been unbelievable. And I just want to continue this. I love playing this kind of football and it, it's lovely to see. I even saw Pepe making a run there. But I've waited and I'm playing Smith Rowe through. And Smith Rowe! <laughs> it was so close to the third. 
And it's, oh, this is what I mean, man. Straight out to Pepe. To Victor Oshiman. I'm going to actually play this down to Martinelli. And Martinelli with the shot. Odegaard to Oshiman. To Pepe. I'm passing it back in there to Smith Rowe. And it's a weak attempt in the end. But again, why are they passing straight to me? It's Martinelli and it's another save. But this is not like... This is just mad. Why are they passing it to me so much? Ooh, okay, it's an attack for Nottingham Forest here. Can they get a goal back in the game? Tomiyasu almost, almost cancels it. But I think... I thought that was going to be a goal. But he has missed the target. Bit of a let off there, actually. Um, that's probably their best chance of the game so far. Definitely is. I've got to say, I feel like I'm managing the team well in this congested period. This is where squad depth is so vital. We have so many brilliant players we can bring in. Like Smith Rowe, Martinelli. Um, who else do we have? We have Gwenduzi. Got so many decent little players sitting in our reserves on our benches who can help out during this time. And it's, it's so helpful. Which I think, again, is why it doesn't hurt bringing Dembele in. Maybe we do shift out like a Durami on loan or something. But um, yeah, no, I'm loving the team so far. Okay, Martin Odegaard plays it down to Victor Oshiman. And I'm seeing this run. I wasn't seeing that run, but it works. Martinelli whip a ball across for Osherman. What a save. What a save and what a shot. That would have been a lovely, lovely volley. Uh, it was straight out of the keeper. If it's anywhere other than the keeper there, that's a goal. Tierney winning the ball back. And it's Pepe whipping a ball across to Osherman. Osherman with the goal. He doesn't miss a second time. It's a lovely bit of play there. Tierney does brilliantly just to win the ball back very hard at the pitch. And we made him pay. Made him pay. Look at Tierney there, bossing it. And Pepe just has to whip a simple ball across. And it's obviously a lovely finish from Oshman. And there we go, boys. That's another goal. And that's 3 0. And it's another Victor Oshman goal. He is on fire today. He's on fire every episode. He hasn't really had a bad game for me. Okay, I've just made a few changes to shore up the team a bit. Make sure we get the win and don't do any funny business. We brought on Thomas Partey alongside Gwinduzi. Um, oh, I actually brought Reese James on and moved Tommy Asu into the, the centre-back position. I've taken Gabriel off because he's getting a bit tired and I want him fresh for the Liverpool game. And we also have Kulusevski on because I just I like, I like him on this wing. I think he's solid on this wing and we're trying to play the ball to him now, but... Hook it up. Interesting. I haven't really played Tommy Asu much as a centre-back in this series so far. But I think he can do a job. He's been brilliant this game as right-back. And wow, okay. That was close. And Tommy Asu can play it out now to Kulisevsky. To Victor Oshiman. And okay. We might be able to move from this. This is nice. I've left Smith Rowe on. Because I don't think he's going to feature too much in the Liverpool game. So I thought, you know what? Don't need to rest his legs as much. Tomiyasu to Kulisevsky now to Oshiman. Oshiman with a shot. It's a good save in the end. You have to go for them now and again. Okay, Forrest have the ball now. They're in a nice little position, but we have players back. And again, Rhys James does his job. He's good defensively, good offensively. And you can see this now as he runs. Pass it to Tom uh, Thomas Partey. Kulisevsky back to Thomas Partey to Smith Rowe. And it's a goal. What a, what a goal. What a well-worked goal that was. I was losing track of who had the ball at which intersection. Um, yeah, really nice finish. And it's 4-0. 4-0 now. It's lovely. Kulisevsky plays it to Thomas Pye. Thomas Pye to Smith Rowe. And it's a lovely, lovely finish from Smith Rowe. He just has to tap that in. But he goes top corner in the end. And it's a really nice finish. And there we go, boys. 4-0. Game is well and truly done. Our away days have been incredible today. Have been incredible. Uh, I mean, you can say these two teams have been poor, but we've struggled against some of the lower teams recently. Especially in the past couple of seasons, we've been really poor against some of these lower teams and lost points. But, man, we have been so solid at the back. So, so dangerous attacking-wise. I've just, I've been loving it today.
mate. I've got to say, some of the passing in this game has been incredible, man. It's Thomas Partey again playing it back to Martinelli, and that's the fifth. I'm sorry. I was actually silent throughout most of that, just like the build-up in itself. There was so much. It was beautiful passing. I was just watching. I was watching in awe. I was controlling it, but I was watching in awe. And that's a fifth goal, and I, I can't even celebrate too much. Thomas Partey with another assist as well. Uh, playing as a centre mid. Bit more box to box this time. And Martinelli with a lovely finish in the end there. And um, it's a well deserved goal for Martinelli. I think he's been good. He's been tracking back a lot as well, which um, I love to see for my wingers. And that's 5 0. <laughs> uh, that is a, is that a 6 0 and a 5 0 to kick off with. Wow, wow, wow. You can't say much else, man. It's just, it's astonishing. It's astonishing. And let's have a quick look at the. The stats. the stats suggest a much more one-sided game than the Newcastle game. Which is incredible because we won the Newcastle game 6-0. Um, but this one, man. 7.9 XG. 14 shots. 56 possession. And again, we have to take a look at the ratings. Oshima with a 9.9. Two goals. Martinelli with a 9.4. One goal, one assist. Smith throw with two goals as well. And Pepe with another two assists. He's getting a lot of assists. Not loads of goals, but a lot of assists, Pepe. And Partey as well with two assists. Incredible. And wow, what a display that was. And now we have the biggest test of them all coming up next. And that game is Liverpool, boys. We are up next against third in the league, Liverpool. Also doing very well this season. But again, I think we can, I think we can cope. We've just been incredible so far. And let's have a quick look at the table. I'm intrigued by the goal difference now after them big wins. We are flying away with it. 32 goal difference. My God. The next up is uh, the next up is actually 21 with uh, Man United. But they're down in sixth currently. Incredible scenes. We've scored 55 goals. We've conceded 23. It's, it's actually not too bad. I thought our defence was doing worse. I think them performances have boosted us by a lot. Newcastle in ninth. They actually went up a place since we played them. Which is interesting. And Nottingham Forest... We have thumped down into the relegation zone and they are struggling now. But without further ado, I think we get into the lineup for this Liverpool game. I think we have to go very, very strong. Um, do they have any crazy players in their team? It doesn't look like it. It looks quite straightforward. Now, this is an interesting lineup because obviously Liverpool are so much better than Newcastle and Nottingham Forest. But this, this formation has been working. It's been working. The double cam approach has been working. So I'm a bit torn. I'm a little bit torn with this one. I think we just fuck it. Go for it. Just go for it. I think worst comes to worst, we can always bring back um, maybe an Odegaard into more of a centre mid position. But then again, the best defence is, is a good offence. So if we just attack them, surely they can't attack us as much? I don't know. Maybe we could get caught on the break a bit more. But still, I think we just go with this team. I think this team has done bits for us. I was tempted to play Kulisevsky, but I think he's done really well coming on to the pitch uh, later on in the game. I think his pace at the beginning lets us down a little bit. Not saying he's slow, though, but he's just a bit slower than Pepe. And Pepe can just keep running at him. So, I think we start this team. We've got Martinelli on the bench. We've got Graven Beck on the bench. We've got so many good players on the bench, man. We've got good players in the reserves as well, but... I think for this game, this is the team we go for. I'm going to start Saliba over Ben White. Again, I think just a bit more height in there, um, especially for corners against like Van Dyke, etc. I think we'll be good. But yeah, boys, I'm just going to go. I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to go for it. We're at home. Hopefully that's in our favour against Liverpool. This is not going to be an easy game, but can we continue a hot form? Fingers crossed. Let's go, boys. Okay, and this is a big game for both teams here. Liverpool, if they win it, they're going to be pushing us for the top spot. I think they'll be one or two points behind us then. If we win it, we go clear of them by quite a few points. Uh, and then it's really only, I think, Man City to, to be scared of. So, yeah, this is a huge game for both teams in terms of the league. A draw would be fine. A draw would be fine. They, they want to win. If they draw, they'll be... Probably more annoyed than us, I'd say. But fingers crossed we can get a win here. Huge, huge game. December clash. Let's go. I'm also intrigued to see how Guendouzi does in this uh, game. Obviously, Liverpool like to press a lot. Um, 
But yeah, I'm hoping he can he can do well there. Shabozai though on the ball. This is a nice early attack. I think Pepe might just be off. He's on. He's on side. I'm going to hold the ball up. See if uh, I can get help. Shabozai to Martin Odegaard. Okay, we couldn't find the way through just there. But that is a nice bit of play. I possibly could have done better there. I thought Pepe was going to be offside. I really should play to the whistle more, but I hope. Nice bit of play from the boys. Please don't lose it. Please don't lose it. Come on, Shabozlai. You've got this. You've got this. Let's go for a shot. Come on, Shabozlai. An early goal for the boys. Really, really composed finish from Shabozlai. And, yeah. Wow, we, we, we started this game strong, man. We started very strong. And that's a huge opening goal. Guendouzi with the assist. But Shabozlai does so much work to hold off Alexander-Arnold. And just a low-driven shot past Allison. He wasn't expecting that. Is it through his legs? Ooh, I think it just just was. And wow, 1-0 up. Can the form continue, boys? We got the first goal in the City game a few games ago, and we lost 3-1. So I'm not going to get too ahead of myself, but that's a really good start from the boys. And this is the first time Liverpool are actually on the ball in this game. So again, we have to see how they're going to be playing. And it, already, already we've done really well here. We've done really well here, and I'm seeing Saka through the middle. I'm going to try and play this with Saka. And, okay, it's still Saka, and he's going to play it to Shabozlai. This is really nice play again. And, oh, my God, how have we still... We've still got something here. It's played back to Saka. Saka with the shot. I think... Okay, we'll take the corner. Unbelievable. I, I'm surprised we're getting so many early chances in this game. We should probably capitalise on them a bit more. Oh, okay, this is what I was afraid of. It's Mane on the attack here. That's actually Odegaard back to help defend, which is interesting. And he's done well. They've had to force the ball back, but it's out now to Fabinho, to Henderson. Back to Fabinho, back to Henderson. Oh, no, this isn't good. I've been watching the Salah run. Campagne, okay, and Tierney does well. And Saka does really well, and that, that was a foul on Saka. That was poor from Henderson. And the boys can get it out. This is really nice play, and I'm seeing a ball... To Shabozlai on the cards, but I'm actually going to pass to Saka. Back to Shabozlai. Shabozlai! Oh my god, that was such a good opportunity there, and it's a great save from Allison. What an attack that was. Boys, we are flowing today in this formation, I tell you. Uh, he's offside. Surely Salah's offside. He's not offside, and it's Salah on the ball. Oh, this is a goal. Damn, Liverpool get a goal back. Very, very undeserved. Very undeserved goal. It was a crazy ball over the top. I thought Salah was offside. He, oh, he done Tierney there. Damn. Okay. I said it was going to be a feisty game. We need to get another goal now. Oh no, it's another Liverpool attack. They're going to be dangerous any attack. Just with Mane and Salah on the pitch. And the boys can just about get this out. Odegaard playing it to Guendouzi. Guendouzi down to Pepe. And this is where we can thrive. Obviously, they got Van Dijk in the middle, but nothing against Oshiman. <gasps> that was a huge chance for Victor Oshiman. And for some reason, he just didn't he didn't connect with it. The accuracy wasn't there, but hey, another example. We can get chances in this game. We can get another goal. Hey, Firmino to Salah. They're just playing it around now. This is not what we like to see. Trying to keep Gabriel cutting these runs off as much as possible. Alexander-Arnold... Back to Salah. Oh, no. This is, this is probably a goal, isn't it? Guendouzi. Oh, no. Oh, Ramsdale. Thanks for saving me there because that would have been such an unlucky goal. Oh, my God. They keep whipping balls over to Salah and it's ridiculous. Thankfully, Kieran Tierney is a baller and is fine there. Ramsdale with a ball and a half to Reese James. Can this be a counter-attack of dreams here? I'm seeing this ball to Shabozlai through the middle. This is beautiful scenes. Oh, no, it was a bit too much. But can we keep going? Can we keep going? Come on, Pepe. Pepe with the goal. Let's go, boys. 2-1 to the Arsenal. And, oh, my God, what a counter-attack that was. I tried to pass it to Oshiman, and it was it just went way too wide, so I came back on it. And, thankfully, we've managed to slide at home. Pepe just, just getting on the end of the rebound. And we needed that goal. We needed that goal. Oh no, it's another big attack now from Liverpool though. This is not good. It's not good at all. 
Salaba getting held off by Firmino and Ramsdale with the save. Huge. Hopefully we can keep them out here because this is a nice little attack. It's looking good for Liverpool here. Campania and Tierney. Man, Tierney has bossed it today. Honestly, probably my favourite player in this team just the entire time today. But this is incredible scenes and it's Oshman who is through on goal. I'm going to... Oh, why did I do that? Okay, I've just brought on a few players. We brought on Gravenbeck and we brought on Martinelli. Not only to show up the midfield, but also keep some pace up front and just hopefully catch Liverpool out a little bit. But first of all, we need to block this attack and Firmino tries it with a header. And luckily Ramsdale is good. They brought in a Mobile now, so that is going to be a nightmare to defend against. And already it's a nightmare to defend against. Saliba has got back to cover. And okay, we have got a few players back now. Reese James can come over. Immobile is a nightmare of a player. I've, I've used him a lot on Ultimate Team this year as well. And he's a solid, solid player. And shit, this is not good. Referee, that was a foul. That was a foul. If this is a goal, I'm fuming. Oh, Gabriel. What? Ramsell, thank, thank God. Because that would have been ridiculous if they scored that. Thank you, Saliba. And Gravenbeck can play it now to Martinelli. This is huge. This is absolutely huge. Please, Martinelli. <gasps> oh, Alisson, man. Alisson. I was going to pass to Oshiman, but Oshiman kept going closer and closer to me. Look, there. If Oshiman just keeps running in that direction, it's an easy pass and tap in. But he got way too close to me that I couldn't do that anymore. Otherwise, I would have, obviously. You want the surefire go in that situation. But now it's out to Martinelli. And, okay, Martinelli just run round, run round with it. Fabinho does well there. Oof. Okay, it's fine. Martinelli keeps the ball. We can keep this in the corner for a sec. Keep this in the corner. Keep it, keep it round. Okay, and that's fine. That's fine. Wasting time. Liverpool fuming. Come on, man. What? Literally not even a minute left. 30 seconds left. Please. Yeah, Liverpool. Keep faffing around with it. Come on, boys. 2-1. Huge win. Absolutely huge for the title, man. That is a massive, massive result. And it's Pepe who gets us the goal. The winner in the end. We probably should have scored a couple more there as well. But 2-1. There's loads of 2-1s in the league there. Literally every game is 2-1 bar... One of the games, which is 2-0. But wow, that is a big, big, big performance from the boys at home against Liverpool. And it was less convincing than the Newcastle and Nottingham Forest game, but I mean, come on. Come on, that was ridiculous. And boys, that's going to be it for today's episode. As you can see, coming up next, we've got a semi-final in the League Cup against Chelsea. Very exciting. Again, only two days' time, so hopefully we might have to rotate the team a little bit for that. But it shouldn't be too bad. We have so much in the squad at the moment. But also you can see the January transfer window is open. So yeah, next time out, I think I might have a quick look at definitely bringing in a keeper. We can actually see their clean sheet leader, Aaron Ramsdale currently. So I feel bad, but I do get we do need a bit more in terms of an overall keeper. Uh, so I think we do get the, the boy Mike in. And yeah, I think that's, that's a solid signing. But yeah, guys, thank you very much for tuning into this episode. Um, I'll be back very soon with the next one. I love recording these. It's just about getting them edited because I have a lot of other work that I do. Um, but yeah, if I mean, if I didn't have another job, then I, I, I'd be doing these more frequently. I could probably do them most days, but that's not the case. So yeah, apologies that I can't do them more often than, than I want to. Uh, but fingers crossed we can in the future. And obviously, follow my Twitch if you haven't already. Uh, you'll see a lot more content from me. All different games we play on there. Um, and it's, it's most nights as well. So there'll be content out there from me. Um, whether it's FIFA or whatever. Feel free to like the video if you have enjoyed this. And subscribe if you haven't already. Um, which, I mean, come on. Just subscribe. It's free. It's free. Uh, but yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. I will see you next time. And all the best.